Greetings fam, Stormy D here with Storm Saga Games. Thanks for joining me today. The following video is a complete guide to installing Daggerfall Unity and the primary mods. Please like and subscribe below to support the channel and enjoy the content. The first part of this is the easiest, but it's also the most time consuming. That's that you need to go to all the links that I'm gonna show you and download the files to get started. Obviously that makes sense. And the downloading part is the longest, especially the dream mod. I recommend you first create a couple of separate folders to stay organized during this process. The main two folders that are important for this are gonna be DU main files and DU mods. So create those two folders. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is download the two main files into this folder, the uh, du main files folder. Then you're gonna have a du mods folder. This is where you're gonna download all the different mods. And as you can see, these are the main mods that I use that I, again, I, I believe are the, the core mods that you wanna to have to get started with a Daggerfall Unity experience. Here is the list that I've been talking about so you guys can see it. Uh, I'm going to bring this up. Now, keep in mind for the YouTube video, you're going to find all of these links in the, in the description below. One of the first things that you're going to want to actually get is 7-Zip. It's going to be important to get some type of unzip utility program because um, even though Windows has the capability to open up archives that are in the zip format, it doesn't handle RAR format very well. And some of the files that you're gonna be downloading will be in a RAR format. That's why I personally use 7-Zip and the instructions that I have that I'm gonna to explain to you guys are all based upon using 7-Zip. As you can see here, I also have a list of all the rest of, of the mods. Excuse me, that little, little stop doing that. Um, <laughs> it wouldn't be a Stormy D video without uh, comedy. Okay. So as you can see the, the, the different mods there, obviously for some reason when I highlight them, it, it, it becomes a pain in the butt. So I'm not gonna try and do that. Next to this, uh, next to each one of them is gonna be the installation location and potential special instructions. Let me expand this so you can see the rest of that. There you go, okay. So as you can note there in the special instructions, you will need to download two files from that link. One is the Daggerfall game files.zip and the other is the newest version of Unity that matches your OS. I'm going to go ahead and show you that right now because it's important to know. So when we go to this, this download link, you're going to see this stuff right here. This is going to be the first thing that you download, this Daggerfall game files.zip. And then you're going to come down here to the Daggerfall Unity area and you're going to choose your version of the operating system you're using. All my instructions are going to be based upon Windows 10 64-bit because that's what I'm running. So keep that in mind. You may have to adjust depending on your situation. This will probably be the one that most of you are going to pick right here. So now once you've downloaded both of those files and put them into your uh, DU main files, just, just like that, this should be these two files. This one will say 145 probably instead. Uh, of course, if somebody is watching this YouTube video in the future, <coughs> then uh, it's whatever version number is there. And there might be unique instructions in the future, I don't know. But it's important to have both of these files. Real quick, I'm gonna explain what these two, two files are. The Daggerfall game files is literally the original Daggerfall game. This Interkarma, Daggerfall Unity, Daggerfall Unity, Windows, etc., etc. that is the Daggerfall Unity mod overlay. It's basically what takes over command of the game installation itself. So after you've downloaded those two main files, the next thing you want to do is download all of these mods into your DU mods folder. Uh, these main ones, I'm going to name them off real quick and give you a super brief description of what they do. A convenient clock is basically that cool little clock that I have in the lower right hand corner of my gaming screen down here. DFU No Rush Main Quest. What that does is it replaces the timers on the main quests so that there's no timer. 
I still recommend even when you install this that you go talk to Lady Brisiana as soon as you have uh, have the capability to do so because then uh, you can just ignore the main quest after you've talked to her from then on and then go after it when you feel like going after it. The reason why I like that and think it's it's worth including is just because, you know, uh, it's an Elder Scrolls game and Elder Scrolls is all about you tackle the main quest when you want to. I'm not a big fan of the fact that this one has a timer on it. So this just turns the timer off and lets you do it at your own leisure. This next one, Distant Train, is a graphical thing. It really, <laughs> it, it'll blow you away if you turn it on and off and try it later on. It really does make, give you the capability of seeing terrain at a huge distance and it makes the game much more impressive. Uh, the Dream mod is the primary graphical mod for Daggerfall Unity. Uh, I mean, technically Daggerfall Unity already kind of is a graphical mod, but Dream takes it to a whole nother level and it's why it, it makes the game look as good as it does, you know, nowadays. Obviously it doesn't compare to the engines of like Resident Evil 8 Village or something, but uh, it's still in incredibly impressive even for nowadays. Uh, and Enhanced Sky goes great with the Dream. Basically what it does is it creates this in truly enhanced sky because um, honestly the older Daggerfall Sky was kind of ugly and Enhanced Sky just brings it alive. As does Hand Painted Models, another graphical overlay. What this does is this uh, improves a lot of different models that you'll find in the game for treasures and dungeon knickknacks and furniture and things like that. Uh, helmet Swap Dream is going to be important to have because there's a, a weird helmet thing uh, in the Dream Engine where they accidentally stuck Barbarian Helms on guards. And so what that does is it fixes it so that it, it doesn't look out of place. Improved Interior Lighting is another graphical overlay. It really, it really it, it expands the lighting capabilities of the engine and it makes the interior of your taverns and dungeons and well, any interior in general, it makes the lighting look impressive. Uh, this loading screen is for making the loading screen better because the Daggerfall loading screen is, is, is not great. It doesn't have any information on it. It's just boring. And th this really, it, what's neat about loading screen as a mod is it gives you two options. You can either choose uh, an Oblivion style one or a Skyrim style one, I think. Something to that effect. Uh, NPC health indicators. One could argue that this is really... Uh, a, a, a preference choice so I, I you know I could have put this in the optional mods I do have an, an optional mods folder that I'm going to tell you guys about at the end of this guide I personally think the neat thing about the NPC health indicators is you can turn it off even after you've installed it there's the, the way you can set up the features of it so there's no reason not to install it even if you cho choose not to use it it just seems like something that, that really fits in the game and works. Post-processing is another ga graphical improvement. It basically adds advanced anti-aliasing features to uh, the, the engine uh, that it didn't have already. Real grass is another graphical uh, addition to the game. It basically adds real grass in the game, a real looking grass, these patches of grass. Otherwise, it's just this barren landscape. Um, Role play and realism. One could also argue that this should be a, a to taste kind of optional one, but honestly, there are certain parts of role play realism that really make all the difference in the world. There are certain features where I can't believe it wasn't in Daggerfall before, and you will too, and you'll be like, okay, I like that. I like, and, and what's neat is it's set up such that all these different features you can turn off. And they're really just quality of life, UI improvement, even slight gaming mechanics improvements that really makes sense for the game. Splat Train Texturing, again, is just a graphical improvement. Uh, and then finally we have Tavern Redone and Taverns Redone Dream Patch. Tavern Redone is really neat. It's a project where the developer of this mod basically redid the interior of a lot of the taverns and uh, not all of them, like he's working on getting all of them, but there's a lot of taverns and, and it really makes them pop, uh, you know, it adds different kinds of pictures on the walls and furniture and, and things like that. Uh, and if you get this Tavern Redone one, then you ha and you're using Dream, which we are going to do, then you also have to get the Dream patch. So it's a two-parter. So there we go. Those are the breakdown of the main mods that I use. 
So now I'm going to go back to my steps here. Uh, I'll let you guys see my little phases. I'm going to kind of read them off to you a little bit. Make sure that we get stay on track. Uh, also, a couple of things you're going to need. You're going to need a nexusmods.com account in order to download most of these files. Uh, but you can just sign up for their free one uh, if you don't already have a Nexus Mod account. Just go to nexusmods.com. And definitely Google Nexus Mods Daggerfall. That way you're going straight to the Daggerfall version of Nexus Mods. Additionally, like I said, you're going to need an unzipping program for these instructions. Please note, in all cases, you need to make sure you are downloading and, and installing the correct version of the software or mod that corresponds to your OS. For all of my instructions, I'm using Windows 10 64-bit since that's what I have. And that'll make more sense as we start to go through the mods. Phase two, first installation steps for uh, main Daggerfall Unity. So check it out, guys. Once you have actually uh, downloaded all the files and you're ready to start install installing, a couple of first things that I, I recommend. Here's a pro tip. I recommend using an SSD drive for all your game applications. And S going from a, a hard drive to an SSD is as big of a, of a performance increase as adding a new graphics card. In fact, better. I would say you gain more performance, noticeable performance difference off of playing games off of an SSD than any other part enhancement you can make to your computer. But obviously if you can't, if, if for some reason you can't afford an SSD or whatever, that's fine. I think the game will still run at a decent, decent play on a regular hard drive. So it's also a good idea to install uh, your games, and specifically this game, on a different drive than your main drive. So what I'm going to show you here is on my computer, the Samsung drive uh, is my SSD for all my games. I have personally set up a folder called Games. It's for all of the games that I plan to install, with the exception of my Steam games, which I want to keep separated just because Steam has some funky ways of the way they install games. Uh, and I typically like to use GOG. The good old games, GOG Galaxy is a, has a neat interface where you can actually manage and install even your Steam games through their overlay, which is really neat. I highly recommend it. So I install my games into games folder, and in this case, because we're installing Daggerfall not from Steam, but from our own free downloads off the internet, we're going over here to games. I created a folder called ES Daggerfall Unity. And that's my main Daggerfall folder, but it's going to have a couple of folders in it. We're going to explain that. Within this folder, I created two folders. One is Daggerfall Game Files, and the other is Intercarma Dagger Unity Daggerfall Unities. To be honest with you, I didn't actually create these files. You don't have to create these folders. I have that as a step in my thing. I'm going to show you a quick step that works faster than that. You can actually, after you've downloaded these two files, you can copy them into the ES Daggerfall Unity folder. Highlight both of them. Once you have 7-Zip installed, right click on it. Then come over here to 7-Zip, where it shows in this submenu here, and it, it opens up another submenu. The next thing you do, come down here to where it says Extract to uh, Asterisk Backspace. Click on that. It'll automatically create the two main folders based upon the, the name of the zip file. And then you can now go ahead and delete them if you want to. So that's just a, a neat little easy quick step so that you set up where we're going to start the whole install process. Now moving on to the next step. Step. <laughs> Do skip. Here's an important point so pay attention. Ah uh, yeah this is very important. Do not install the Daggerfall game files. Your, your instinct is going to want to install the game in your system because almost every other game uh, that you're modding from Skyrim to Morrowind to Oblivion to whatever, you have to actually install the game first on your system. With Daggerfall, that is not the case. In fact, it's better if you do not. Uh, installing Daggerfall Unity is as simple as opening up this folder and here, see this daggerfallunity.exe? All you got to do is double click that it's going to ask you, it's going to bring up a requester to, to point to where your Daggerfall main files are. So simply navigate to the correct drive and games folder and then to the Daggerfall game files folder. 
It's the other folder inside the ES Dagger File Unity folder we created. The menu should turn green and allow you to click OK. Do that. Click on OK. And uh, then choose your game monitor resolution. And don't worry about the quality because you can tweak that stuff after installing the mods. Phase three here. Uh, we're doing the easiest mod files installation first, which is the majority of, of the mod files. These are all the easy mods from here to here. And then these last three are a little more complicated. And so I'm going to go through those individually. But uh, the installation of, of those mods isn't too bad. The next step is to unzip all mod files. So we are now coming over here to the DU mods files. In this DU mods files folder, I want you to uh, highlight, shift, click all of them, and then right click on any of them. And then come over here to 7-zip and down here to extract to this backslash. The reason why we want to do this is because we're going to be copy and pasting or drag and dropping the mods into a particular folder in our Daggerfall Unity setup, which we've already done. So since we've already done that in installation setup, I'm going to kind of mimic it and show you how it's done. But I wanted to show you this little step. So when you're done, there, there should be 16 of these right here. And when you're done unzipping them, there should be 16 non-zipped folders now. Now, what I recommend doing is opening up a uh, separate window. Make sure we go to the right spot. You want to have one window open that your game files. So come over here to games, ES Daggerfall Unity, and you're going to come into this Interkarma one, not this one. We don't do anything with this Daggerfall game files anymore after we've set up with the actual Daggerfall Unity executable. So now we're going to be uh, opening up the Daggerfall Unity data folder. And then after we open up that one, the next is the streaming assets. And as, as you can see, I'm going to bring this over again. In my little mod list, where I have over here the install locations or special instructions, for all of these mods, it's the same location. It's the Daggerfall Unity Data Streaming Assets Mods folder. And the mod files that we're going to be putting in here are all these mod files that have DF mod at the end. See how all these files have dot DF mod? Normally, this folder is empty because you're just now starting this. So this folder will be empty. You won't see all this stuff in there. So what you'll be doing is you'll maybe make a smaller window out of it, right? And put it over here on the side. And then you're going to come over here to convenient clock and you're going to open it up. Now, it's important to note something here. As you can see, there's multiple different versions. Well, how do I know what I pick? If you're on Windows, you pick Windows. And that's what I'm going to show you guys because that's what I have. You can either drag and drop this file into here I'm not going to do it because it's already in there and I don't want to overwrite with an old one. Or you can just right click, copy, and then paste. However you want to get it. You want to put this file, convenientclock.dfmod, into this folder, which is the mods folder, inside your Daggerfall Data streaming assets. Simple enough. For each one of these, except for the No Rush Main Quest and Dream, you want to just open up the folder. Sometimes you'll find that it's, it'll have the different versions and you want to pick, make sure if you're on Linux, use Linux. If you're on OS X, use OS X. If you're on Windows, use Windows. For most of you, it's going to be Windows. Uh, Enhanced Sky, same thing. Find that, that DF mod file. I'm just going to go through a few of these so you can see that some of them, see, hand-painted models, they don't break it down into different OSs. I don't know why. A helmet swap also doesn't break it down. Some of them are, are a little more simplified that way. There you go. That's the simple part of installing those mods. Now, once you've done all that, those mods are installed. There's one more step at the end once we start our Daggerfall Unity, where you'll actually get to start activ activating and setting up the mods. And we're going to show you that here in just a little bit. But here comes the most complicated part of installing these mods on Daggerfall Unity. The No Rush Main Quest. It's not really that complicated. The only thing that makes it a little more complicated is you're actually moving it into a different folder. That's all it is. So what you want to do is take this quests folder, the whole folder, copy and paste into this folder, 
and it'll overwrite. You want to make sure that you choose to overwrite what's in there. And that's how you have the no rush main quest. Super simple. The next part is the dream install. First, open the dream folder and find the RAR file and find the mods folder. After you open this folder, manually copy and paste all of the files in that mods folder into your Daggerfall Unity streaming assets mods folder. So in other words, uh, this folder is very similar to the other installs. You just want to find the mods part of Dream and copy and paste all of these into the uh, streaming assets mods folder. As you can see, I have them all here right now already. So that, that part is, is, is normal. The next part is not though. Second, you now want to find the presets folder. And as you can see here, the presets folder, you actually just want to drag and drop this one into here. It doesn't go in the mods folder. It needs to be separate. As you can see, it's its own folder next to the mods folder. So you just want to make sure that you copy the presets folder into the streaming assets folder. And then finally, do the same thing for the spell icons. Uh, as you can see, I have the spell icons. You want to go ahead and just drag and drop this in here. If it asks you to overwrite, go ahead and overwrite. It doesn't actually overwrite anything. All it's doing, uh, it, it's just merging the two folders. It's adding the stuff that's in the spell icons folder uh, of, of Dream that is not already in the spell icons folder of Daggerfall. And then, then it'll look like this after that. The third part of the Dream installation is the most complicated part. And that is going to be the Dream Reshade install. This one is the most complicated mod to install, so I'm including instructions for this separately. Don't worry though, it's not too tough. First, open the Reshade folder in the Dream zip file and double click activate the Reshade setup.exe. So you'll double click that. Second, What's going to happen is it's going to be doing stuff. You'll see a green bar and percentage indicator and it's it, it, once it's done doing its thing, after the green bar is finished, you need to click on the select game to install or uninstall from button. That is going to look like this. And then you're going to navigate to where you have your Daggerfall Unity installed and select your Daggerfall Unity.exe another pop-up is going to come after that and that is tick the direct 3d 10 11 or 12 circle and that looks like this so once this pops up it's going to ask you basically to select which rendering api you want to select this one direct 3d 10 11 12. you don't care about any of the rest of them that's the only one you want for for daggerfall unity uh, it will take a few moments to download some files after it's done there in the next screen, you will see a number of items. It's going to look like this. Make sure that all of them are checked. Scroll up and down and make sure they're all checked. They should be all checked by default. And then click OK. Now that step is finished, so you'll be able to hit the X button to close the prompt. Basically, you'll see the little pop-up window that I couldn't take a picture of and you'll hit the X and you'll be done with that part at, the, at this point. After you've done the above steps, you will now need to drag your Dream Reshade INI file. So after you do this whole step, all that we're talking about, what'll happen is a Dream Reshade INI file will be created. And uh, you will need to use that Dream Reshade INI file. Uh, and you will need to drag it over into, let me find the right, yeah, okay, uh, right here. As you can see, my dream reshade.ini file is here now. Now that you've added the dream reshade, here is the last complicated part. And I'm going to show you this through Daggerfall Unity because you're going to actually want to open up Daggerfall Unity by double clicking on Daggerfall Unity. I actually have a shortcut set up on my start menu, which is what you guys see me keep going to. But since you're in the middle of the install process, you might actually just be going uh, to it like this, right? You would be here and you would click on double click on Daggerfall Unity.exe. And of course, it's going to launch Daggerfall Unity. Uh, you can bring it up now. Uh, by clicking home.
And this is, this is basically the, the dream reshade add-on. And so what you do is, after you've pressed the home key per the instructions of the reshade, then click continue. You're gonna click continue again. So you're basically gonna, it's gonna ask you a couple of things. They're not important. You just click continue twice after you've opened it up the first time. And then uh, after that, you want to choose check mark next to the following. You want adaptive sharpen, clarity, and SMAA, as you can see here. Once you've check marked those, you can then click continue and then click finish. Seventh and final is you're going to click performance mode, make sure it's checked. And then once you're finished, you can hit the home key to close it again. And your dream reshade will be fixed. Now, now that you're done, that's the most complicated part. So now we're going to go over mod setting configuration inside Daggerfall Unity UI. So the first thing that you need to do before you do anything else is one simple, easy step. You come in here, you click on mods, and you wanna make sure that the helmet swap mod is right here. You want it to be below the dream sprites right here. Uh, when I installed mine, this was the order that it set up, I think. Uh, or you might want to, if you want to kind of take a note of this, uh, you can set yours up. You can, the way you move them around is you highlight them and then you click lower or increase. And it moves that, you know, it's basically an arrow key, right? Uh, up and down. I went ahead and, and ordered mine like this just because I wanted it for convenience sake. So you can if you want to. So once you've done that, that's the only main config you need to do. But now, we're gonna configure the mods for the dream presets. So what that means is we have a lot of different graphical uh, add-ons that we've done here. Uh, for example, we've done the distant terrain, you know, we've done the convenient clock, we've done hand-painted models, enhanced sky, etc. Those are all graphical enhancements. Well, they need to work based upon dream presets. So dream has its own kind of way that it sets up those particular mods. To get the most compatible look that the mod developers intended, you wanna make sure that you follow their, their presets. So for example, the easiest way to show you the way it works is you're gonna to go to click on convenient clock and then you come over to settings and then come over to presets and you're gonna click on dream and then you're gonna click on load. Once you've done that, it'll automatically load the dream preset for the clock. And then you want to do that. I'm not doing it because I've already done it. Uh, you want to do that for all of your mods. You don't have to do it for all the dream because obviously it doesn't make sense to set up dream presets for the dream mods. They're already kind of built in, right? But for all of the different mods you have, you can go over here and click on it uh, and click on settings, presets, Click on Dream Mod. If it had, forget this other stuff, it's 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 unimportant. You want to if you're using Dream, then you need to click on Dream and load that. Uh, here's a thing to note, though. Sometimes, like for example, Daggerfall Sky Shards, there isn't one, right? Oh well, what do I do now? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Skip that one. You could ignore that one because it doesn't have a Dream preset. It's not. It doesn't matter for the Dream. Roleplay Realism does. Uh, it also has a dream preset as well, as you can see. Ooh, that's, I didn't know I had two different ones. I believe the, yeah, as you can see, I have loaded dream preset. So choose that one. Uh, distant terrain, settings, presets, dream recommended settings. Uh, scrolling down here, I'm just gonna go through these real quick, just so you can see the ones that are that are odd, because there's, there's one or two that are odd like the hand-painted models. See, the hand-painted models don't actually have a dream preset. It's not important. They're their own thing. They're separate. The, even the helmet swap dream doesn't, uh, doesn't have that uh, level adjuster. I don't know why. That's, that's, by the way, not one of the mods that was in that list. There are a few mods you can see here that I've installed that are my own personal salt to, to taste, right? My own personal preference. Those are not important for you to install and get up and going as quickly and easily as possible.
Post-processing is super important for the pre, for the Dream preset, but keep something in mind with post-processing. If for some reason you couldn't figure out or chose not to install the Dream reshade, then you need to click the Dream with no reshade. If you cho if you went through the steps that I showed you and were able to install the reshade part, then you want to make sure you pick the Dream with reshade. There you go. Splat Train Texturing works fine with Dream, but it doesn't have a Dream preset, so you don't have to worry about it. Just ignore it and move on. That is the gist of it. Let me make sure that I haven't missed any steps here. NPC Health Indicators. This is one I want to show you real quick. So I have mine set up such that uh, I show when the, the, the health indicator only shows up when I've hurt them. So when I first meet them in a dungeon, I don't know how many hit points they have until I give them a whack. I kind of like that. It adds a little bit more kind of, you know, something to it. I also increase the visibility distance. Or no, excuse me, I decrease the visibility distance. The reason I do that is it means that if I run too far away from them, then I can no longer see them. And as, or I see them, but I don't see the health indicator. And so that just adds something to for me. I also chose the hit points slash total hit points. You can just play with this slider and try something else if you want. It's really up to you. Um, and you can even just turn it off. So there you go. I think that is it for all of those particular mods. Oh yeah, there was one last thing. You'll wanna, uh, you may wanna experiment with the recommended advanced settings described at the Nexus Mods Dream description page. Down here, there's a, this description where he talks about his own recommended in-game advanced settings. I honestly did not use these. So you don't have to. That's just what they recommend. Play with it to your liking if you want to. Uh, there might be some things you like about it, might some, be some things you don't like. It's really up to you. And that's it folks. That's all for the complete guide to installing Daggerfall, Unity, and the primary mods. I intend you uh, enjoy your gaming with Daggerfall Unity.